Well, Brad just mentioned ISM data coming out, the Institute for Supply Management's Services Index coming in at 54 and a half. That is an acceleration from July. This is the August figure and also better than analysts estimated, uh, which was 52 and a half. Prices paid, though, accelerating month over month. That's interesting to 58.9. Employment, the measure of employment accelerating and new orders accelerating. So all of these so showing a pickup in August compared uh, with July. Yeah, this in addition to the consecutive month move that we've been tracking here, particularly uh, in August, the services PMI registering that 54.5%. Uh, that particularly means that the composite index indicated growth in August for the eighth consecutive month here after reading of 49.2 in December. So looking all the way back to December to where this trend had begun. Uh, and that December period was actually the first contraction since June of 2020 here. Uh, also worth noting the new orders index that expanded in August for the eighth consecutive month as yeah, well. And it looks like it was pretty broad based here. 13 industries apparently Apparently reported growth in August. So basically what this continues is this string of reports that have come out better than estimated. There was an interesting note um, in Joe Weisenthal's morning note from Bloomberg where he looked at the City Economic Surprise Index. This is a fun one to watch. Mm -hmm. It basically tracks the rate at which economic reports are beating expectations to missing expectations. And he showed the gap between the U.S. and Europe. The U.S. has been beating at a much higher rate yeah. compared with Europe. And obviously this is a reflection of one of the themes that we've been talking about here for the past couple of days that was also reflected in Goldman Sachs, reducing its probability of a recession. Basically a sunnier economic outlook here in the U.S. Not that things are going to be gangbusters, but that the gap between the outlook at the beginning of the year and now is just kind of incredible. Some of the quotes that we got from respondents here are really interesting and give a little bit more color and, and telling here. Restaurant sales and traffic trends remaining positive year over year and compared to pre-pandemic levels, hiring stable, quality employee, employees available. New California regulations also kind of taken into account here by some of the respondents uh, in July, including minimum wage hikes and implementation of Prop 12 there that largely targeted towards farm animal health and welfare legislation resulting in higher pork prices. So that really impacting kind of the accommodation and food services side of the equation. It also, if you want to pull through anything that we've seen through other economic data points, look at construction. Sales on a national level have been strong. Commodity material prices remaining stable. Finding areas for cost reductions and material availability has returned to pre-COVID-19 levels as well. That's cited within this particular ISM report for the month of August as well.